it's almost five generations back in early 1800s where my great grandfather being in malnad region had to get into coffee as their uh, you know livelihood from a small village called as indavara we grew with our grandfather traveling around the estate cultivation how he used to manage the labors uh, as the family grew the plantations got fragmented and became smaller uh, but then me and my brother with uh, uh, god's blessing have been able to make this a larger plantation of about 1000 acres now i think um, the fact that we're five generations and the four generations before us has done such an amazing job and literally put kale devrapura and harle coffee on the map in the late 90s we were not even tasting our own coffee what we grew used to be uh, pooled in the coffee board of india and coffee board pooled it along with all of the coffees and sold them to the market but then once we started tasting our own coffee when we started telling the world that we have such a high quality coffee uh, we started focusing on selling our specialty coffee we have no other choice other than growing coffee paddy uh, cardamom and pepper in in this region and coffee was one which uh, britishers created a market for coffee in the international uh, market that's the reason our coffee journey started for our family i was uh, with my grandfather walk around and what's the method of cultivation he used to do and each and every plant how he used to observe and uh, handle the particularly managing the coffee plants trimming the coffee plant and all from the childhood itself we have learned the uh, method of <laughs> coffee <laughs> cultivation लर्निंग अबउट काफी ग्रोइंग Uh, because each of the coffee plantation each of the region has different way to grow coffee the plants are different and uh, their cultivation practices vary so we've always been around um, agriculture we both uh, born on a mango plantation where we also grew coffee actually in fact we grew grapes and we used to sell grapes branded mangoes for a very long time every single vacation that we had would at least a few weeks of that would be spent on the estate we might not have really done any estate work but we did climb all the trees possible it was it was 3 4 months of a ball for us every time we were here it was just swimming competitions who would get more food to eat than the eating other one eating competition community you know it was community <laughs> everything <laughs> um a milk that we had was never just a glass of milk it was always like a little bit of coffee in it and that's what we drank even yeah, growing up even yeah, as little kids and we're so used to having fresh fruit in at every you know um season and fresh vegetables fresh milk we make our own butter our own ghee and um, you know wood fired food we didn't i mean when we were kids we didn't have any you know our aunts and uncles didn't have stoves and on the estate it was always wood fired food that you know we cooked with and ate you have to show train body as always said the might is when people join together and grow in fact uh, my personal journey is uh, me and my brother dm shankar uh, grew up together we lived together in fact uh, the extension or growth of a coffee has been because there has been a great coordination between two of us i started my career uh, very early 
because I lost my father very early. It's a very tough time when I jumped into a state, understanding the things and managing the labors. That time, uh, coffee CCRI license officers used to help us come to visit the estates, how to cultivate the plantation. Added to that one, these uh, banks have come forward to finance the estates, even develop the estate and even the build labor quarters and everything. Our dad and uncle are huge visionaries and I think um, uh, so for us to keep up with that pace and think where they are thinking is takes a lot of takes a lot of vision from our end as well. This plant is very healthy. Mm. Why not the second plant? Mm. Okay. Then we have to think like okay. that. second plant mm. yeah, I know a lot of us studying, Other researching, lead. learning from them, a um, lot of exposure that we need to gain to be able to like reach a point where they are already thinking about. So earlier the the total estate was uh, with the uh, old Kent's variety. I totally changed that coffee plants to new 7 and 5. And the shade pattern also I developed with the uh, silver oak and uh, other good variety of shade and all those things. So like that way I had developed the estate. Coffee blossoms on the estate are just magical. It's 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 all all the mountains that are around here that are just white at the same time. And the beautiful part is the amazing part rather is just that it lasts you just for two or three days. And that's all you can see it for. The entire air is perfumed. It's just got a beautiful scent around it. You can see the bees at work and all of that. It's just completely heavenly to be here around that time. The speciality of our coffee is uh, not just about growing coffee in different regions of uh, Karnataka where one of our plantation is located in Baba Budan Hills uh, where we grow high quality Arabica coffee. Uh, in Manjrabad region where we have our Harley estate which grows uh, Robusta as well as uh, uh, Arabica coffee along with uh, Arakanet, pepper, cardamom and vanilla, also cocoa. It is not just about growing coffee uh, in India, but it is, it's also about uh, wet processing and dry processing of our coffee. We take special care to uh, pick our, hand pick our coffees uh, at different stages of ripening of coffee in the plant by uh, picking them up, choosing the best berries for uh, wet processing. Each batch of our coffee is also being uh, tested in our lab by specialist coffee cupping uh, uh, experts whom we have in house. Some of it, chocolatey that is remaining on all. Yes, this. chocolate is there, but the aromas are getting milder as you go yes. by, right? Uh, they are able to decide on the taste profile, create a uh, profile from the field to the final cup stage where the identification of the coffee happens, which has helped us to create a great market for us. Our classic coffee journey started uh, in uh, mid-1990s uh, after liberalization of coffee uh, trading was done by Coffee Board of India. As we started uh, 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 traveling internationally, we realized that uh, uh, specialty coffee is the future for uh, uh, survival in coffee market because of the fluctuation in the international market prices, where my brother started producing the best quality and processing them in our own plantation and then moved on to selling them internationally which I took the responsibility of uh, uh, bringing in coffee uh, roasters, bringing in coffee traders and build relationship with them which for future has really going to help us to make this a larger uh, coffee company. We started understanding uh, 
quality parameters of the coffee. Uh, I have to remember Joseph John and uh, Sonali Menon and my brother-in-law, elder brother-in-law, Raj Gopal. These people have uh, helped us to understand the quality parameters. Then Sonali Menon in every stage guided us the coffee processing, how the coffee should be pulped and uh, what's the um, uh, the bean maturity, from the bean maturity how to pluck the bean, how many hours we have to ferment. Like this way we have understood the process. Then we understood that we have to dry the coffee on a tray and we have developed that one and uh, after that one we drying on the drying yard. Like that way we learned the process of uh, production of clean coffee. For me, the specialty coffee journey started uh, when uh, I traveled with uh, almost 21 serious coffee growers to uh, multiple coffee growing regions like Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica, Guatemala and also the same team went into San Francisco. Uh, we walked the street to see uh, how the cafe culture has developed uh, in uh, United States and what is the demand for specialty coffee in that market. And then we came back and brought in one of uh, good friends who wanted to establish a uh, very serious uh, Indian specialty coffee market in the United States. Thanks to Dr. Joseph John who brought us into this journey and where me, my brother and uh, our family members got together and said, let's change the way we process our coffee which is going to be accepted by the international market as a specialty coffee. As we were exporting coffee, we also realized that there is a lot of potential in the Indian domestic market. So that's where the classic coffee retail journey has started for us, which is now the next generation, the fifth generation, our children have taken over to take this to the next level. Since both of us have been working together, we have so many youngsters um, who have traveled the world, who have gone on education, who go on tourism, and um, they're getting so exposed to specialty coffee today. That is good, gourmet, well-produced coffee. So it was exciting for us as already specialty coffee growers to bring Indian specialty coffee to the young consumers. So what we would like to create is an environment where Although we have predominantly always had filter coffee as a culture, as a method of drinking coffee, we want everyone around us to understand uh, what actually goes into their coffee, what uh, other methods that can, uh, that can be used to brew their cup of joe, and how each of those techniques may actually change the flavors in your cup and um, what you're drinking. And when you start brewing coffee, you always first wet the grounds. So these are the grounds, the powder that you have there. So when you roast it, there are a lot of gases that you can see the bubbling that happens. It's because of that. This atmosphere that we've grown with, we realize that when we are in the city, we're not we're not experiencing even a fraction of it. Um, not because people don't want to; it's just that people are very busy with the lives that they have. That is where we brought in Golden Wood as well, and we said, "Come experience life on the plantation, like how a planter would live here. Experience the journey of the coffee from the bean to the cup. Uh, experience the food that we eat, the culture that we have here, the people that." surround us. So we are trying to be very self-sustainable here at this property. We are working on identifying the flora and fauna and the nature around us. So we also generate our own power here. We, uh, we use solar energy, we use hydroelectricity. 
uh, we grow our own food as well, which is all organically grown. You know, there's nothing coming in from the outside as such. We, we are trying to create a little community amongst ourselves where um, we live with each other, the animals, the plants, us, all of us together. Running coffee plantation in India is very much different from uh, uh, large coffee growing regions like Brazil because uh, they use 98% uh, of mechanization including growing cultivation practices plus harvesting. In India it is completely different. The reason is our terrains are very different. We grow our coffee under shade. Since the shade is grown, the multiple number of trees are many where machineries cannot move, move on. We have manual labor being used. Our plantations like Harley Estate has on an average of 250 to 300 labor working every day. What we do uh, in our plantation is to take care of these labor because they are very precious for us. <laughs> Labors 100% uh, provided with the labor quarters, with the water, children, education, so then uh, health management provision is there. Without this uh, wonderful community who are being with part of our family. In fact, uh, three to four generations have been working in our coffee plantation and without them, maybe we would not have been able to maintain this quality, grow these wonderful plants and uh, produce to the uh, wonderful coffee to the world market. So thanks to our people working for us, uh, we are able to really achieve what we achieved in classic coffee these days. Mm -hmm.